Director for Policy and Advocacy at IFLA, and I also oversee a lot of our work with the regions. Um, and I'm one of the team that's working to hopefully share some good ideas and provide some, some inspiration, give some really useful tools to, sustain, to, 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 to stimulate um, reflection on how to promote more sustainable library fields in Africa. Yeah. Uh, looking at the methodology for impacting knowledge here, it looks very, very interesting, engaging. So what is the brain behind this? And uh, how will you advise other participants to use the same method? So I think exactly as you say, something that we're, we really hope that we can do here is not, we're not giving instructions. We're not trying to make everyone align around a certain thing. We're trying to give tools that people can adopt, can adapt, can make part of their own planning in order to enable libraries everywhere to think into the future and to really think about impact to think about the opportunities that there are to engage with international processes in order to go further in order to do better for libraries and in order to do better for the communities that libraries serve yeah thank you very much um Steven. um i'm very very chilled about the issue of uh, sustainability and library and i know that one also will lead to this sdg and others so what can you tell us you know the participants when they get home so I want to hear from about that more. So we've been talking about sustainability for some time in the context of our advocacy work around the Sustainable Development Goals. And of course, it's very easy for us to go along to governments and say, well, you should be more sustainable. And how you do that is through engaging your libraries. But there's also a, a duty. There's also a requirement on us to think about our own sustainability. And this is a good investment. And making sure that we're thinking about that we're taking account of the future in what we do today, that we're considering what the impacts of our actions are. Are we carrying out the research that will help us tomorrow? Are we promoting the voices, identifying the great talent that will lead the future, lead the field in the future? That's really important. And so that's that's why we're trying to make sustainability such a key focus here, that this should really be a focus. This should be a principle that applies across our decision making at the institutional level, at the national level, at the regional level, at the global level. Yeah, uh, this program is for African region. Do you have any plan to go to other regions for similar program? And how often do you want to do this kind of training? Indeed. So this is the it's the second time we've run this training. Um, we were lucky enough to be hosted by the National Library of Thailand to host do something similar in November of last year. And this is all part of this broader decentralization agenda that in the end it doesn't matter where a decision is taken where action is taken what matters is that action is taken and it has an impact and we believe certainly that we cannot do everything purely at the global level we don't need to have everything labeled with IFLA or whatever else what we need to do is use the tools we have provide the platform that we can provide in order to support decision making action or whatever field whatever level is appropriate for the challenges that are faced. And so this is part of a series. As I said, we've met in Asia Oceania. We're looking forward to going to Europe next month. And then we have plans to engage with other regions, with North America, with Latin America and the Caribbean, with the uh, Middle East and North Africa next year. And each workshop is going to be different. Clearly, each time we try to get things a little bit better. We learn from what hasn't worked. We build on what has worked. We listen to many people within the region to get a sense of what's going to be most useful. So, the, so it's a series, but it's a series that's in evolution. As a result, hopefully we're looking at roughly a two-year schedule um, to take this forward. Clearly, in doing so, we're very grateful to Stichting IFLA Global Libraries, whose financial support and whose support for IFLA staff has made this work possible. And last question. Looking at the caliber of people here, they are leaders from their countries. I believe you have, have an idea of like training all the trainers to go back home and do the same. Is that, is, that, is that what you have in mind also? How do you monitor this to make sure that they do the same that you have impacted on them here? So we have, and we, we have already planned for a series of, of check-ins going forwards. Now, this isn't school. Um, we can't impose strict conditionality. We're hoping that the level of interest, you know, the, the value of the tools of the materials that we're sharing will provide sufficient incentive. But what we'll be doing is really trying to create a community going forward, a space where our participants here can 
exchange ideas, talk about what they've done. We've also carried out a baseline survey and we'll be repeating that over the next few months in order to get a sense of whether actually those, whether we're seeing changes. Is there a stronger sense of connection to the regional level? Is there a stronger sense of connection to what's going on in the international space? And so that's what we're going to try and do to measure impact, see what's going on, learn lessons. But as a crucial thing for us is that this shouldn't just be a meeting that starts and stops on a given day. This should be a meeting that kicks off a sense of community around how can we learn from each other, share ideas about what it means to be a sustainable library field. Thank you very much. Thank you.